The advent of multiverse has changed the MCU forever. Not only are we getting new storylines, but we're also getting tons of new characters. The recent trailer and Super Bowl TV spot of Doctor Strange 2 tease Patrick Stewart's Professor X. And the rumors about Multiverse of Madness's reshoots have the fans all riled up. Many cameos have been added, and one of those could actually be Wolverine. No, I don't mean Jackman. I mean a new Wolverine who might become an MCU regular. Now you guys know that we love delving into fan theories. So here is a totally legit speculation that is so accurate that it will haunt your dreams. Hey there, quirky people. We think that the Multiverse of Madness will start a new era in the MCU, one where no character is ever out of reach. Think of it as the Marvel comic verse, but much more accessible than that. The darkness of the multiverse will soon begin to spread, and to avoid it, Strange will have to take aid from unknown sources. Some of them might turn out to be allies, but the others, not so much. America Chavez was the only known multiverse character at the time of the initial plot leak. But now the Super Bowl TV spot has confirmed at least four Strange variants. Not to mention the Illuminati and the possible appearance of Superior Iron Man. But the cameo that has us most interested is of Patrick Stewart's Professor X. The original character played by Patrick Stewart was supposed to have died in Logan. Yet, here he is in the trailer of the Multiverse of Madness. Well, he can always be a variant, and not the same one that we saw in Fox's films. I mean, it would make more sense that way, because in the Fox movies, time travel worked differently compared to the MCU. So if this new Professor X is from the Fox movies, then the MCU will be acknowledging the kind of time travel trope that they worked so hard to change. A huge plot hole will be created as how different rules of time travel exist in different universes of a multiverse. It doesn't make total sense. That's why the variant Professor X theory seems legitimate, but it also sets a dangerous precedent. If Marvel can just replace a dead Patrick Stewart Professor X with a variant, then why can't they do that with every character? For instance, can't they bring back Logan much in the same way? Just a variant who may or may not look like Hugh Jackman. We believe that Marvel is trying to use the old characters from beloved movies in the most efficient way. Multiverse of Madness will be filled with cameos and variants, and the latest rumor suggests that we will get a Wolverine in the next MCU movie. However, it won't be Hugh Jackman, but a new actor playing the part. Future multiverse movies like Secret Wars could try to introduce Jackman's Wolverine as well. But for now, he'd be a new character. And if he comes from Professor X's universe, then we can be certain that this new Charles Xavier is a variant. Wolverine's arrival is inevitable. After all, what is Professor X without his reliable partner? There is no X-Men without Wolverine. Deadpool once hit the nail on its head when he told Wolverine that his true power was his popularity. The only reason that Wolverine is the center of attention is because he is insanely popular. He has to be included in the MCU. It is a compulsion and there is no arguing with the fans. Seeing as how it is an easy possibility after the appearance of Professor X, we expect we would see the Beast very soon. And he will be completely different from the Fox's version of the mutant. All we know for sure is that Phase 5 and 6 are going to be crazy. The final battle for the fate of the multiverse will include so many of the past characters that it will make your head spin. If we are thinking about introducing Wolverine to the MCU, then the other X-Men can't be far behind. Maybe Cyclops would finally turn into a villain and we would get to see his full power. Maybe Jean could finally learn to control the Phoenix Force. The mere inclusion of Professor X has opened up the MCU to infinite possibilities. The MCU is growing much faster than we could have anticipated, but we are definitely not mad about it. It is lovely to see that Kevin Feige is always two steps ahead of his fans. But reusing old franchises will only get the MCU so far. We think that they should look more towards the comics for true inspiration. Phoenix Force and Wolverine's popularity would be great assets against the Celestials and Kang. So let's see if that gets done. Do you think Wolverine will appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? And is Professor X different from Fox's films? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. 
give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.